Corruption is a massive issue in Get Fixed Boy, since literally as soon as you generate a Get Fixed Boy world, like 70% of your world is already covered in either crimson or corruption. This means managing the spread of the corruption is of utmost importance in this world, especially since the contaminator and its solutions are completely impossible to obtain in this world. The only way to purify anything is the Shimmer Vial Powder to Purification Powder, since even that is impossible to purchase. Since purification is essentially impossible, containment is of utmost importance. Since there is so much evil, it is extremely important that you focus on containment as much as possible, preferably as soon as early hard mode. This is what a Get Fixed Boy world looks like as soon as it enters hard mode. The side adjacent to the jungle is always made hollow below the surface, while the entire surface is evil. The side adjacent to the dungeon is untouched. Firstly, you should know that there is no V on Get Fixed Boy worlds. Everything is set in pre-hard mode. This makes our job a whole lot easier since we already know where everything is. This massive cage of evil all around you might seem daunting to quarantine, but it is actually rather simple due to clever world agenda devs mixed in. It can absolutely be breached, and breached hard, if you completely ignore it, but with proper care you basically don't have to care all about evil spread during hard mode. Basically, across the whole world, there are five possible points of entry. The jungle side border, the jungle surface border, the surface purity border, the desert surface border, and the dungeon side border. Let's look at each of these borders individually. The jungle side border would perhaps be the most important given the importance of the jungle, but can actually entirely be ignored. Since the devs made sure the hollow always spawns on the jungle side and the hollow cannot spread to the jungle, this side is actually completely sealed off from spread. The jungle surface border here is the second threat to our ever so important jungle. However, like the hollow, the devs throw us a bone by providing us with a strip of mushroom biome here. Mushroom is incorruptible, meaning we can save the vast majority of our jungle from corruption. The surface purity border is also spanned entirely by a thick layer of hive and crispy honey blocks, which block the surface area from corrupting the underground layers underneath. Thus, it is unnecessary to quarantine the top, with a few exceptions. If you generate a smaller medium world, medium worlds especially, it is likely that long corruption chasms will pierce the surface honey layer, allowing for corruption of the interior. So to quarantine these purple dongs, make sure to check the area right below the honey layer to be absolutely sure that you are safe. While the three borders we just covered are mostly safe, the same absolutely cannot be said for these two. The desert border is, in my opinion, the most dangerous. The protective honey ribbon terminates completely at the desert, providing a gaping hole for the evil to intrude. This is especially powerful if crimson or corruption chasms spawn inside the desert, and as the desert spawns all the way to the surface, it will bring the evil right to your door. This is how the evil reached me in my own personal Get Fixed Boy playthrough, and by the time I noticed, about 90% of the desert was already corrupted, forcing me to build a barrier around the whole thing. So, don't be like me, and be proactive. Before hard mode, build a prophylactic barrier somewhere around here to prevent the crimson from spreading downward. It'll save you a lot of pain later. Lastly, the dungeon side border. Why I say the desert border is much more important than the dungeon side border is because of that. The dungeon. The dungeon side border is much wider than the desert side border, but the dungeon itself provides a lot of protection itself. Thus, it is basically only necessary to build a small barrier here to finish the dungeon's natural barrier. While your world may be 70% corrupt, it's actually not that difficult to quarantine the evil here. Since it's so predictable without the V, it's super easy to just build preemptive walls. You might even consider building them in pre-hard mode since enemies will be easier and there is no positional change in the biomes. These walls should also only take an hour to build at most, given their rather short length. I recommend you build a thick barrier with explosives or pickaxes if you're late game, and then line the median with mushroom grass. Not only is this very cheap using materials you likely already have, it is also easy to see on the map given its blue color. Make sure you also use a biome site potion to ensure nothing is left on the wrong side. It's really not that hard. Biome spread might be a source of anxiety for many Terraria players, but it's good to know that even on the game's hardest seed, containment can be both simple and easy. Hello! If you enjoy my content, I ask you to subscribe, as we are nearing 100,000 subscribers. If you want to learn about whip stacking in Terraria, a helpful tactic for summoners, especially in harder difficulties, this video might be for you. Either way though, thank you for watching, and good day and goodbye.